Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Liz. So how is everybody doing? How y'all doing out there? I ain't gonna ask y'all what y'all doing because if you're not an essential worker, I know you at home. <laughs> so I hope that everybody's doing okay, you know. We hanging in here, y'all. And yes, I just start eating because nerves are play a part in everything. So today, you guys, I have five guys. Now, I know I said I don't like to do fast food, which I don't love to do fast food, but we've been eating a lot of chicken, y'all, and I was just really over the chicken. So, five guys it is. So I have a burger. This is a double cheeseburger with lettuce, tomato, bacon, mushrooms, and grilled onions. And I have a little bit of fries. And I'm drinking water in my fancy glass. And I have a hot dog. Now I've never had Okay, y'all yeah, cut off on me. <laughs> but anyways, this hot dog has relish, grilled onions, and mustard on it. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get into I want to take a bite of this hot dog first because I've had their burgers before. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That's good. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm. 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 That was really good. So, when I eat hot dogs, I don't eat them often. I don't like ketchup on my hot dogs. I only like mustard. Generally only mustard, but I had a taste for something a little different, so I got relish and grilled onions, but it's really good. But if you eat hot dogs, what do you eat on them? And I know there's... um. I don't know why that's up here. I know there's um, vegan hot dogs as well. There's actually vegetarian and vegan dogs. So for those of you that don't eat meat, you can still enjoy it. were bigger than my stomach ordering this food y'all as I know there's no way I can eat all this at once so I'm gonna go ahead and put this hot dog over here because I'm gonna be eating that for breakfast probably <laughs> and some of this burger Y'all don't throw away food. That's one thing I just cannot do. I don't like to do. If the food ain't going bad, I'm not throwing it away. Well, it's not, won't not. This burger is... It's gonna be a whole mess. I'm trying to see the time, y'all. Y'all know I'll be watching the time because I don't like to make the videos too long. Cause I, you know, I don't want the videos to be too long. Cause I hope that you watch it to the end. And if you actually watch it to the end, I'm gonna tell you what to do at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Y'all, we need the full views. The views count. And I know that, you know, a lot of people don't like to watch the ads. and But it, it really, we really do need the views, you guys. We need the views. We need you to watch it, you know, especially now. Because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people who are content creators that aren't working. So we do, we need it. So, you know. So 
So shout out to everybody that watches the full video and don't skip the ads. Kind of talk a little bit in a minute. I mean, I've been talking all the time, right? But I have something specific that I want to talk about. And I feel full already, y'all. I see, I hate that. This burger. I see this burger. It's huge. I can't. There's no way. Mmm. It's so good, but it's just too big. <laughs> oh, yep, I'm wearing some of it. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. Okay, I'm wearing a lot of it. So I thought the foil was holding it, but it's, it's leaking through. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, burger. I'm done with it. <clears throat> I'm, um, I'm done with it because um, <laughs> I'm making a mess all over myself because it's real juicy because I got mushrooms and stuff on it mushrooms make stuff extra juicy I didn't do a thumbnail So, I, uh, sometimes I forget to try and get a thumbnail. <laughs> well, that'll be my thumbnail, y'all, because I forgot. Have y'all ever been recording yourself doing something and you forget you're recording? I think this is one of those times where for a split second I forgot what I was doing. That's okay. So. This, what I want to discuss goes out to all the married people. And I know people are going to say, what's she now? She ain't married no more. She divorced. She don't know nothing. Listen, I'm going to be real transparent with y'all because I always am. Divorce sucks. It sucks. <clears throat> it's hard to recover from. Excuse me. It puts you in a vulnerable place where you sometimes get involved with things that aren't good for you or with people that aren't, I won't say things because I ain't on drugs or nothing like that, but people that aren't good for you and people that don't have good intentions for you. But thankfully for me, I recognized that the situation that I was in wasn't a good situation. And I'm not talking about my ex-husband. Um, but I recognized that it wasn't a good situation and it wasn't something that I wanted to be involved in because, you know, people take kindness for weakness. And a lot of times when you're fresh out of a, a marriage or a breakup or divorce or whatever, people tend to see your vulnerability. They see how vulnerable you are. 
And so you get yourself into situations that um, aren't good. But I said all that to say this. If you are married, stay married. I'm not playing, y'all. Stay married. I know it's difficult. I know there's things that can happen in a marriage that make you want to end it. But I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. Stay married. Work on your marriage. Make your marriage a top priority. And I know that right now, a lot of a lot of people are quarantined together. They're not used to being home with each other all of the time. This is the time to sit down and talk to one another. Because it could be that when, before the, before the uh, shelter in place happened, you weren't spending enough time together. You weren't spending enough time together. Maybe you, you, you could probably have been together for years, but you don't know each other well enough because you've never spent enough time together. So now all of people's bad habits are starting to show a lot. People are starting to get on each other's nerves. People are feeling like they need space from their spouse. You know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Put the same effort into working on your marriage as you put into getting up and going to your job every day. Now you don't have to get up and go to work if you're working from home or if you're, if you know, God forbid you're laid off, but you're home, you're safe, you're with your family. Talk about things. Go back to what made you both fall in love with each other. Go back to the beginning when you met and and talk about those times and, and remember why you chose each other and why you took the next step and got married and why you chose each other to build a family with. Just, you know, get back to that. Don't throw it away because I'm here to tell you it, it's hard. It's hard. It's not, you know, it's not an easy thing. And I, I, I would never lie and say, oh, this, I, I want to throw a party. I'm so happy I'm divorced. No, I'm not happy. But I will say that I love him enough to set him free. I loved him enough to set him free. I want him to be happy. And I hope that he feels the same about me. But I don't want anyone to stay in a, in a marriage that they're miserable in. I'm not saying that. But I feel like there's certain things that we that we can do to one another and, and we don't really we don't give the other person a chance to correct things. We we're not honest with each other. We don't tell the other person, you know, hey, you're that's getting on my nerves or, you know, I, I don't like that. Or the first thing we do is we start to yell at each other. We you know, we, we handle things in the wrong way. Sorry, y'all, it's going on. Like it's okay. Um, we handle things in the wrong way, and I'm just speaking from experience. It's never a good idea to yell and curse and call each other names. It's definitely never a good idea to put your hands on each other. Um, but what I just I just want you guys to work on your marriages because we're, we're all imperfect, so we're gonna get on each other's nerves, especially right now where. You're used to being able to just, okay, he's getting on my nerves. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the store or she's getting on my nerves. I'm going to just go, you know, I'm going to go to the store or go have a drink. I'm just, you know, I just need to get away. But now you're forced to do the work. So do the work. And the work is to sit down and talk to each other. And I hope that none of you are in situations where your spouse was being unfaithful before this and now they can't so they're taking it out on you because that's a whole other issue that's going to require a mediator and some counseling and here's the thing another thing i want to say is stop being afraid of getting counseling stop being afraid of going to a therapist rather be individually or for your marriage and it could be that you both need to seek therapy you both may need to speak to a therapist to work on yourselves first before you can work on your marriage. Or you can do both at the same time, but there's nothing wrong with it. So do it. Do the work. And you guys, that's all I wanted to say. You know, there are so many things that I feel that you can do as a couple to, you know, alleviate some of the stress. We know what the number one thing is. 
but I know that it's hard to get to that point if you're looking at this person and the way they breathe is bothering you, okay? Because we've all been there. Or the way they chew their food is bothering you. Or their laugh is bothering you. That's different. And that, that takes some serious talking about. And like I said, that's going to take going to counseling and working through it. But don't give up. Work through it. The whole point of this, of what I'm saying, is just work through it. Don't give up on your marriage. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, but before I do, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, drop me a comment and let me know what you think, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.